friends, this is Andosh from Jopu. Once again, I am with you on a new video lecture on Oracle 10G Basics. In the past video lecture, we discussed about the control statements uh, that are, uh, we can see also that are flow control statements and we categorize them into three categories that are conditional control statements, uh, iterative control statements and sequential control statements. Uh, in the past video lecture, we only discussed about the conditional control statements and we discussed about if, if then else, else if, uh, ladder and nested if uh, statements in our video. I hope you understand it and you like it very much. Uh, in today, we will discuss about the iterative statements. Uh, the iterative statements are of uh, three types simple loop for loop and while loop but uh, today we only discuss about simple loops uh, first of all uh, a question arises in your mind uh, when you uh, heard about the iterative statements what the iterative term means uh, whenever uh, you are mm, making some programs and you need to uh, code uh, 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 like uh, uh, if you want to uh, print a line uh, multiple times like uh, you want to print it uh, line 10 times so you have to write that code 10 times uh, so this will increase your code so uh, the iterative statements helps you to uh, uh, lesser uh, make lesser code in fewer lines so this will and this can be uh, easily understandable and uh, uh, the problems the or the errors uh, will lesser uh, than the normal code so iterative statements are help you to um, uh, <coughs> control the flow so uh, for a uh, programmer uh, if you uh, understand the concepts of iterative, iterative statements then you uh, can uh, execute more complex programs in uh, lesser code. So today we will we will discuss about the simple uh, loop and the iterative control statements. So I hope you will enjoy this video and please do share your uh, views with me. Uh, you can write to me on my email address that is uh, given to you in the description section and uh, mm, be with me and I hope you like it. Hello guys, welcome to this uh, video lecture. I will discuss about the iterative control structures in this video. Uh, as you know that uh, this is a kind of uh, control structure. Uh, we have already discussed uh, about uh, the conditional control statements or conditional control structures that are if a statement, if then else statement. Uh, if then uh, else if statement, uh, nested if and else if letter statements in the past video lecture. Today we discuss about the iterative control structures. The term iterative means uh, uh, the code that is uh, executable, uh, executed more than one time or uh, can uh, uh, write, uh, write down more than one time. So you can uh, put them in an uh, iterative statement. So that uh, you can uh, you have to less code and understandable more so first of all we have this uh, we have to discuss about the simple loop statement so let's check out the syntax of this uh, statement so uh, this is the simple loop statement and the syntax of this statement is loop just have to write loop an executable code here then a exit condition exit when and exit condition with this statement so you must have to write the exit condition otherwise this uh, code will be uh, going in an infinite loop statement and then you have to write the and loop statement so let's uh, let's check out uh, this on the terminal before we have to write some code in a notepad file. So 
uh, i'm just uh, making a simple uh, program that uh, is going to print high 10 times so declare and for this uh, kind of loop we have to uh, take certain variables uh, like uh, we have to take uh, a number uh, which is uh, having some uh, having some values and we have to increment or decrement its value either it will uh, not uh, uh, processed 10 times so i am taking a number a the number size 2 from equals to 10 now i am uh, using the begin section <coughs> the uh, loop printing the statement high on the terminal so i am using dbms underscore output the output underscore line and simple high so this statement will print high now before writing and loop i have to give a exit condition so that this loop will be a finite loop otherwise the system goes into the infinite condition never exit from this program so uh because of system is a finite uh, finite state machine we have also uh, we have to give the uh, finite uh, situations so that this uh, loop will come out from program and program will end so exit when a call equals to 0 now the question here is how a will be 0 uh unless we have we have um, we do not have uh, done any processing on a number a or variable a it is uh, uh, given a value that is 10 how it could be zero so we have to uh, one more code so that uh, it will become the column equals a uh, column equals to a minus 1 exit when a equals to zero so i'm <clears throat> i'm uh, correct the code uh, exit when a equals to zero so you can better understand the difference between column equals to and equals to the equals to is a relational operator and column equals to is a assignment operator so i am assigning a value a column equals to a minus 1 and first uh, uh, when it is uh, 10 the loop will be executed and it will print the high statement then it will check the condition uh, either it is true or not exit when a equals to zero it is not zero then it will uh, go to the next statement that is a colon equals to a minus 1 that means a is 10 and now 10 minus 1 Plus to nine, and now a is assigned the value that is nine. So this code will be uh, execute in a loop statement like this. Like uh, uh, first of all, uh, the <coughs> control goes to here declare. It will declare a number that is uh, having a value ten. Then it uh, go to this statement begin. Loop starts. then it will print a statement hi and check the condition is it is it is a is equals to 0 that is uh, wrong and it is not uh, equals to 0 then it will go to this statement a equals to a minus 1 and that will become 9 now and after this this will come to the statement once again it will print hi and check either a is 0 or not it is not and a equals to a minus 1 the a is 9 now and then it will be 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and up to uh, 1 uh, it will print the high statement or the terminal and after that when it is uh, become zero then the condition is true and then it will be exit from this condition and of this program and now i'm 
copying this code to the terminal i am already tested this program um i am uh, pasting this uh, code to the terminal and now i am pressing the enter button so now you can see that i printed 10 times with this loop you can change this program you can uh, change the variables value as 5 and this will print uh, 5 times how are you now I'm copying this code and go to the terminal and now pasting this code so now you can check that uh, this code will uh, six times uh, print the how are you why six times this is uh, this code prints the how are you uh, where we are assuming that five times it will be executed first of all the uh, value of a is five and this code will execute it and the how are you statement is executed on the terminal then this will become four and for this, uh, this this statement is also executed three two one five times and then after uh, it will become zero and this uh, and this will print uh, the statement and after that it will check it is zero then it is exited from that uh, loop so it is better to uh, change your condition if you want a finite number of uh, loop uh, finite number of execution in your uh, looping, looping statements. So uh, let's uh, uh, check out uh, some other example uh, so that uh, we can understand the simple loop in better. Thank you all of you. Uh, now we have to make uh, some other program so we can better understand the simple loop. So I have write down a code here which will print the number of a table. Uh, the number is up to user's choice and this will print the table of that given number. So first of all, the, uh, the statement is declared. It will declare uh, three variables. It's all up to you how you can use this uh, uh, program. Uh, the logic is uh, dependent on the programmer how they can declare and how they can use the variables and the logic is dependent on the programmer's mind. So I'm using three variables here a number two one equals to m percent a that is a number which will be asked from the user uh, for the value that is uh, going to be printed as a table i is a uh, num i is uh, number two is equals to one and that is a um, that is help to iterate the loop and uh, res is uh, stands for result uh, that uh, that the processed value will be came, um, came to uh, in the result and the result variable so now um, in the begin section the loop starts the, uh, the first statement will processed and uh, a multiplied by i will be processed and came to the result variable a multiplied by i means a's value is uh, up to user like a user is giving a value 2 and 2 multiplied by 1 equals to 2 then uh, we will increment the variable i up to 10 and when it is uh, become 11 then we will uh, exit from the loop so we have to give this as a exit condition now come to the next statement that is tbms underscore output dot put underscore line so we print this uh, uh, as a result uh, variable directly you can concatenate with your uh, result uh, you can string you can concatenate uh, string as well as 
the variables i'm simply using this uh, value on the output so now i'm incrementing this uh, ith uh, variable to plus one uh, i column equals to i plus one and so now uh, th this will become two three four five six seven eight nine ten and uh, 11 12 13 14 uh, so we have to give certain conditions so that uh, this code will exit so i'm giving the condition here exit when i greater than so 10 times this will increment it and whenever the i becomes 11 this will exit from this loop so and loop statement will end it ended this loop and and go to the uh, and flow uh, go to this statement and the program will end it so now i am copying this code from this notepad file to the to the terminal and see what happened so now i am pressing the enter button i am giving variable 3 uh, a's value is 3 so this will print a 3 table 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, and 30. So, uh, this is the program of simple loop. You can uh, make more complex programs uh, easier using this looping statement, and that will help you better. Uh, thank you, all of you. I hope. So, in today's video lecture, you understand about simple loops. I hope this video will help you to um, understand better uh, the loops in PLSQL. Uh, you can write more programs using the simple loops, uh, uh, whatever you want. And please do practice on uh, your terminal with Oracle 10G and be a uh, great programmer. Uh, please write to uh, write me write to me your views, and um, I will. Um, better serve you uh, in the near future. I will. I'm making changes in my videos uh, so that uh, you can better understand my programs uh, with, under uh, with a great understandability. Uh, thank you, all of you. Have a nice day.